Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi Sagittarius, why sign? Today I am going to do general reading. May or may not resonate to everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And this is November monthly reading. And if you like my content, please do like the video guys. Then it will reach more people and thank you so much for supporting me. If anyone need a personal reading, I am giving my email ID in description box. You can reach out to me and readings are chargeable. So first we will see general messages regarding your career and finances. Then we will see love messages. Sagittarius, fire sign, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Recent past, present, future, and your present energy, the fool with six of pentacles under the deck. So the fool is all about a new energy, new opportunities. Definitely Sagittarius, right now you have a lot of opportunities, options in front of you. If not, you are going to have. But be present, okay? Focus only on present. And this is the opportunity you have to see, you have to see yourself in a different way. You have to explore yourself in a different way. But I am seeing a lot of opportunities for you. And six of pentacles under the deck, which means you need to balance your finances and treat everyone equally. So recent past two of wands with queen of cups. In recent past, you made your decision regarding your career and finances and you got big opportunity and you were happy. Everything was fine in recent past. But you were in deep thinking. In recent past, you made an important decision. Present four of wands and page of wands. Right now, you really happy. You are enjoying your success. I'm seeing stability in your life, especially career and finances. If not, you will get stability very, very soon. And you want to start something new again because you got a big success. Now you want to start something new and you want to get success in that field also. Like you want to start a new business or start up like anything, side hustle, but you want to start here and you're focusing more on your passion. Yeah, it's always good thing to focus on your passion. Future, the Hermit with Three of Pentacles. See, in future, you will more focus on your skills. You will upgrade your skills. You will learn some new skills. Three of Pentacles means it's all about collaborating with other people, meeting other people. So if you want success, so collaborate with other people and appreciate their talent too, okay? Because when you start something new, you have to take suggestions from other people also. It will help you throughout your journey. So let's see what are the messages for you regarding your career and finances. Nine of Pentacles, Chariot under the deck, Six of Swords. So chariot means definitely you will move forward in your life, especially regarding your career and finances because you will more focus on your goal than anything because nine of pentacles is your goal. Nine of pentacles means you want to be independent financially. You want to be independent emotionally. No matter what, you want to be independent here. That's why the chariot means even though you will face some obstacles, you will move forward. At the same time, you have enough strength to deal with any situation that is coming towards your Sagittarius. So don't give up. Never give up. Just move forward no matter what. So let's see love messages. Sagittarius, fire sign, sun, moon, rising and rising.
So your post and current thoughts. And your current thoughts. Your post and present energy and your present energy. Under that, a king of swords. Right now, your post and present energy is not good. Three of swords energy. Definitely, they are facing some issues in their personal life or regarding this relationship. They are not happy here. Three of swords missing energy is here. Maybe they are hiding their pain here. Their thoughts regarding this relationship, knight of wands, queen of wands and two of cups. They know that you are the one for them because two of cups is here. But I am seeing you person is thinking that there is no equal give and take in this connection. This relationship is always on and off because knight of wands. A lot of passion is here but no seriousness what I am getting here. So let's clarify knight of wands. See juggling definitely either your person is juggling or you juggling here regarding commitment situation and your present energy is death card definitely you are going through some transformation Sagittarius and regarding this relationship your current thoughts nine of cups seven of wands and eight of pentacles you want this relationship for sure but right now you are also struggling fighting for yourself taking stand for yourself and you are really serious here you are putting you hundred percent and you are seeking justice here. I think your person is not able to uh, handle the relationship or not able to balance the relationship right now. So that's why you are struggling here. And some of you are dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, lot of fire energy. And some of you are dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, lot of earth energy. And some of you are dealing with Scorpio, water sign. I'm seeing some hot and cold behavior in this relationship. So let's see your person next time. The tower, two, ten of pentacles, five of cups under the deck, knight of swords. So yes, your person again thinking about stability, long term, uh, they want to communicate with you. Definitely they will rush to talk to you here. I want to clarify the tower, temperance, some of you are dealing with Sagittarius and emperor here. Maybe your person is not expressing their feelings. Now they want to, definitely I'm seeing communication here. Now they want to express their love and I want to clarify 10 of pentacles here. See, again, they're hiding something from you, especially regarding stability or commitment. So let's clarify the outcome, then we will get more clarity. Some of you are dealing with Pisces, Pentacles, Scorpio, Water Sign. See the outcome. The Magician, the Hangman, and Seven of Pentacles. See, I think your person is going to tell that they're not ready for commitment right now. Because the outcome is stuck and waiting. Maybe they will ask for time. And four of swords means no contact period and some healing situation. So let's clarify the outcome. Seven of swords. Yes. I think it's like break or for some it could be a separation also. Because four of cups, seven of swords, lot of trust issues. This is not going anywhere to be honest with you. Yeah, they are rushing to talk to you, but this is not going to any way. So let's see what are the messages for you regarding this relationship or situation. Some of you are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of air energies here. Four of Swords. You need to heal yourself completely. Healing is very, very important, Sagittarius. You need to more focus on yourself. And King of Cups, it means someone brand new is coming into your life. If you have options, I think a better option is coming here because this person is not ready here, but someone brand new is coming and this person is ready to offer anything to you and judgment. You are the decision maker here. So you need to think twice before taking any decision and you need to get clarity more regarding your relationship or anything in your life. So this is the reading for you guys. Hope it resonates to you. Please do share, like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Then you will get all my video notifications. If anyone need a personal reading, 
I am giving my email ID in description box. You can reach out to me and readings are chargeable. Thank you so much.